Hello everyone. Uh, very good morning. So nowadays in all the service now interviews, uh, they are keep on asking few technologies which are very important for jobs. Okay. One of the main technology that they are asking is flow degener. Okay. In every interview, they are saying flow degener, flow degener. And if a candidate have flow degener, then the weightage of the candidate will be good. So first of all, we will try to understand. Uh, let's say I am trying with three years or four years of experience and I don't know much about flow degener. Okay. At least to know the very basic strong knowledge to get on into interviews and even in live environment. Okay. To pass for certain extent. Like to control the requirements. How much I need to learn? So first of all, what is flow degener and what is the syllabus of flow degener? How much you need to learn? How much time it will take? Okay. So that's part I try to cover here. Okay. So first of all, flow degener. Okay. Service now came up with a simple feature. It's a, not a simple feature, but it's very strong feature. Okay, where they automated so many processes. Earlier, like let's say one example. I want to create a business rule. Okay, so if I want to create a business rule for some X Y Z purpose, then you need to set up the business rule definition, and then you need to write the code. Maybe some ten lines, twenty lines of code, querying the database and getting the details and then doing the action performing and updating and all right so code everywhere code was there there are many concepts like scripting include okay and business tools schedule jobs okay email scripting so all the places code was there integration also integration rest apis okay so now people was like they want to make the customers and developers more easy so they came up with a solution called flow designer where the flow designer promoted like no code, low code. Okay, here also code will be there, but let's say I want to create a business tool. So business tool, without coding, you can't set a business tool. Let's say like this. Okay, here without writing even one line of code, you can set up the same logic using flow designer. Okay, so this is how they are promoting it, and yes, it works the same way how they are promoting it. Okay, so. If we see here flow designer, okay, it is inbuilt application for service now, okay, flow designer. Okay, everyone can access it and the developers will get it and then execute it. Right? So what is this flow designer? We covered it and how why we need to learn the flow designer. I already covered it. Okay, in every interview flow designer is must know. Okay. So if I learn service now basic concepts and then go for an exam for interview, then they will ask you apart from ITSM, what you know? Apart from basic things, do you know CMDB, do you know flow designer, do you know portal, right? So we need some extra weightage in our profile. The extra weightage will be coming with other technologies like, okay, let's say I have basic service no knowledge, then I know maybe portal, then I have an extra weightage or I implemented few other things, agent workspace or something, then extra weightage, okay? So few are very complex to learn like portal and all, few are very easy to learn like flow designer. So if we can able to learn flow designer, that makes your job easy and your weightage will be more and then you, it, it makes your uh, interview easy and you get the job easy, right? So in flow designer, what are the main components we have it? Okay, with example, we will discuss now, okay? So first, what is a flow? A flow can be anything. You can define some set of actions. That is a flow, okay? What kind of action? Any kind of action. So generally, the first the confusion of flow degener is people will assume that flow degener is an alternative for workflow catalog workflows okay instead of creating a workflow you create a flow degener that is the first thing everyone will have it no the apply the uses of flow degener is not only the alternative way of workflow okay flow, de flow degener is beyond that okay. what else we can do we will see okay so in the flow designer, let's say I create one simple flow. I'll come here. Okay, we have a lot of things to learn here. What is a flow? What is a subflow? What is an action? You can create your custom actions. You can create your custom flows, subflows, and all. So I want to create a simple subflow. Okay. So first thing you need to learn is flow properties. Okay. So the flow properties you will be you will be learning all of them. I will just say SKFX flow, something test flow right and then i will give scope keep and all okay these and all you need to learn okay so i am not touching everything here 
because I am just introducing the tool what uh, what are the main points you need to learn it okay so then later you can learn okay because if I start so now what is the flow right the flow flow is an alternative for so many concepts right so what are the alternatives first trigger the trigger will define you the flow is alternative for what so let's say I have a business tool when a incident is closed all the child instance needs to be closed when the in, when the problem record is updated all the associated instance which are at, which are at aligned as a child instance okay to the problem needs to be closed or updated when an incident is closed send an email to the okay stakeholders okay when an incident is created the same instance needs to be created in jira right all these examples okay are related to business tools correct so now if i want to replicate the same kind of business tools in flow designer then the option is record based trigger the record based trigger is the alternative of business tool concept when incident is created the same incident needs to be replicated in jira when the incident is updated state equal to closed you can send a mail so the trigger will indicate the business tool so the all these triggers record based triggers are for business tool replication okay first thing now sir uh, the flow is meant for business tool replication only no okay so let's say you have a job okay you have a periodic job to be run every month first day you want to run a job okay maybe you are doing a platform cleanup schedule jobs so I have a requirement where my okay in my platform if any user not logged in for 18 months then I need to deactivate the user so you write a business tool okay you write you write a schedule job in the schedule job write a script go to the user table query it and then get them and then inactivate it okay now if I want to do the same thing here then you need to take this trigger date trigger that date trigger is the replication of schedule job concept in normal okay instead of creating a schedule job there you create a uh, flow with date selection okay so business tool replication this part okay you so that means you can use flow designer for business tools replication so flow fd vcs business tool okay and now fd vcs schedule job okay now what else okay so you come here and then see okay applications and then you also see two more one is task sla so let's say there is an there is an incident okay the incident time will be calculated via sla okay if an incident is assigned to someone then how much time it is there for that particular person to close it okay resolution sla response SLA. So on the timing on the clock running if you want to do something else but let's say the incident time is reached to 80 percent okay you need to escalate to customer customer manager okay large group manager okay if the incident is reached to 90 percent then you need to escalate to maybe instant uh, manager escalation team okay so like that you need to send some mails based on the incident clock running then the sla task you can take it the trigger will be sla task okay so now you are controlling okay via fd flow designer incident sla clock also so if you have any requirement on this particular requirement then you can create a schedule uh, yeah, flow designer okay now what next right so inbound email action so let's say in your service no platform email so if some user send a mail then create an incident or reply an email saying this is how you need to do inbound email action concept is there whether if anyone sent to a email to service now okay as a reply it, it does two things either send a reply to the same email with some instructions or do some action like creation of incident or updation of incident or something something based on the content of the email okay so now those kind of inbound email actions can be done using flow designer so fd vcs flow designer fd vcs uh, inbound email action right 
and finally right so workflows so i have a workflow okay i want to do the same workflow concept in flow designer so i can use this trigger instead of creating workflows you can define a flow designer flow and then attach this for uh, attach this flow to the catalog same like how we do it so uh, flow designer which is okay workflow so now the flow designer is an alternative for all these topics people will be assuming that flow designer is what an alternative for workflow 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 no work flow designer is alternative for all the topics okay that's why it have this much of weightage and this is the reason everyone are forcing uh, okay people to learn flow designer as well as even in interviews also they are asking like do you know flow designer good so these are the things you need to focus and here we also have few more things so here we have something called actions so you can use your normal actions you can use your custom actions okay how to create a custom action so now create record i can use it directly but i want to create my own action that is called custom action i can do it so how to create a custom action that we need to learn okay flow logic kind of logicals subflow in service now workflow we have subflow so here also you can define one simple flow called subflow and then you can use it in multiple flows it's like a template so this part also we need to learn so first we need to learn about triggers and second we need to learn about actions subflows flows and third we need to learn about once you how to create a flow for different different triggers if it is a business tool how to create it if you are if it is a schedule job how to create it if it is a email one how to create it if it is a workflow related how to create it with using different different actions okay that part we need to practice it and then finally we need to also learn like how to use the flow how to trigger a flow from script okay if i create a flow i can take that uh, script and then i can run it from background script also how to do it so these are the primary things and the flow when you have a flow the flow also supports integrations okay so now i installed jira spoke here okay so from here only i can create a record in jira i have action here okay create group from service now i can directly create a group in jira using this particular action if this one is not there then i need to create a rest message get the endpoints okay then create a business tool call that rest method from script and then test it so it's a big process now here with this one spike one one spoke and one action you can simply configure it so on overall to learn flow designer all these concepts are needed okay and flow designer is not only replication for workflow it is a powerful tool and if you learn it it will be very strong okay so i just given some list of list of, list of items here what to be covered okay what to be learned okay if you want to learn concentrate on these sections okay these are the topics that you can focus what is flow understand the flow okay what are the triggers i covered it here okay how to create each trigger and then uh, work make it work what are the actions okay how to create a business tool replication flow designer how to create a workflow replicate in flow designer how to create a okay email notification in flow designer okay so schedule job how to replicate a schedule job requirement in flow designer okay and how to do your integration work how to create how to connect with jira and create an incident how to connect with jira and create a group okay so those and all if you can able to practice it, how to write a script in flow designer okay you have scripting concept also here also you can write simple simple script and then execute some okay how to do it and finally like one important thing is like if it fails a flow fails how you troubleshoot it okay for every flow there is something called executions okay the execution is like a logging so how to analyze the logging how to analyze the execution and then if something goes wrong how to troubleshoot it that part this is the these are all items you need to concentrate it okay so it looks a little odd heavy but it's very easy topic okay instead of creating a business tool if i want to create a business tool okay i may take 15 minutes if i know the coding but here you can define the same business tool concept in just 3 minutes without no code without code okay 
even integrations also and even schedule jobs also if you even workflows also okay only thing is you need to come here and then start practicing it that is the only thing okay so hope this video will help you to clear your uh, okay things about flow designer people are not starting to learn flow designer because they are assuming that it's flow designer is only workflow 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 no first learn this all topics and then once you are comfortable with these topics then start learning flow designer and concentrate on this list i will be keeping in description also so concentrate on this uh, list and then learn it and then if you learn this one it will give you a great weightage in your resume and even live environment also you can control better you, you become like a strong developer okay hope it will help you everyone this video will uh, help you everyone okay thanks for watching bye